We have some amazing news for a lot of people that have unfortunately lost their account for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis due to the game either auto uninstalling your game without you linking it or you un uninstalling it yourself and not linking it. Shoutouts to Bon Jovi Friday in our Discord. And he said that he's hoping this gives anyone in the same situation as him regarding losing your account recently, deleting and reinstalling without linking. Hope that you get your account back for Ever Crisis if you didn't want to start over again. I had deleted and reinstalled hoping to get back into the game yesterday not knowing the server was down but that it also wiped his 30 plus hours of play data that he did not link he reached out to support team advised by blitz which i did link in the previous video below there's a link with the email for support that you guys should email and they'll give you a list of steps but i want to break down the steps properly for you guys just so that we can get things situated in the best way that we can we'll update on the situation let us know if we got his account back so spoiler alert he actually messaged us this morning he got his account back or at least they said that they found it and they're going to be returning it back to him which is awesome for more ever crisis videos hit that subscribe button and notification bell because we also cover your other favorite final fantasy games too and help raise that 11 percent even higher now with that being said let's get back into this video by the way we're trying to grow back our discord community so feel free to join via the link posted below it's going to be pinned in the comments it's completely free to join and we'd love to have you there and talk about all things gaming he actually shared with us the email here you can see that he emailed the support team and they basically said for data recovery you have to create a new account and provide the information necessary for data recovery in your reply it will investigate using the provided information to see if data recovery is possible if data recovery is possible we will overwrite the newly created account with the one that you would like to recover from the title screen of your new account tap menu link the data and then close the screen to restore your old account following information below is what's required for data recovery so what they need you to do is create a whole new account which a lot of you guys probably already did make sure you link that one to an email and also keep track of that player ID number. Here's some of the information that's required in order for them to help us out with this process. Of course, the player ID makes it the easiest. If you have your player ID, if you added a friend or you know somebody that you sent your player ID to, you'll be able to recover it, thankfully, with that and probably the easiest way possible because they could track it straight up down. If not, there are some other things that they can do, actually. There's a lot more information, I imagine, than this but they also require the player name at the time of registration. So for example, I might have that crazy ass long ID, yeah, hey, but Blitz is my actual name in the game. So if I told them BLTZZ with the correct spelling, they'll be able to track it down that way. They could also use things like the current player name, the device model of your phone, the account creation date and time to see the accurate window of when it was created so that they could track it down and find it that way. Uh, the last login time and date, the first five-star weapon received through draws, uh, last enhanced weapon, number of crystals held, first gear received through draws. All of that stuff can definitely help them be able to track it down. Uh, obviously, the first um, four options will help them get it a little bit quicker, more sooner to you. But the other ones, while they may take a little longer, uh, are just required. So this way they can give you uh, give them an accurate window to look through. Now, here's the easiest part, I think. A lot of people will be able to find their accounts because of this. Purchase history information. If you're on Android, name, price, date, and time of the last item purchased in app. Now, on Google Play, and I'm pretty sure iOS as well, anytime you make a purchase, your email is emailed with the receipt. Uh, some people have that setting on by default, I do. And you're able to give them the order number and the date, time, and all that stuff and if you can because obviously that's linked to that account they'll be able to reverse track it and find your player id and get it to you guys ios same thing name price date and time of last item purchase an app screenshot of the purchase receipt yeah make sure the screenshot shows the uh name price date and time as well i would do the same thing for the android one as as well just to cover all ends and you also request the information of the newly created account like your player id your player name device model uh i would probably even give them the email just in case so whatever account it is that you linked it to just so that they have everything so that this way they can kind of get rid of this account and put your old one locked into it and they say if you restart the application after registering your player name uh contact your player id will automatically be input since we're overriding your newly created account data you won't be able to reaccess that new account you should delete the application before the procedure has been completed after the process has been completed you will not be able to reaccess the newly created account when performing data recovery the account you wish to restore and the newly created account cannot be merged any purchase items on the new account will not be usable after data recovery is completed 
after recovery is complete you got to tap menu link data and close it without doing anything within 72 hours of support completion this is what's required in order for them to accurately be able to track it down and help us out so he actually said that he sent this to them i think 24 hours ago but they messaged him this morning and they said hey we uh, appreciate you providing such detailed information and please to inform me that we finished the necessary steps towards recovering your data you will be able to reaccess your account by the following steps below from the title screen tap link data close the link data screen and return to the title screen please do not uh any operation just close uh restart the app start the game and you'll have 72 hours from the completion of data recovery to perform the steps above if 72 hours have passed please contact us again so they can restart the entire process after restoring your account please consider using the methods in game to back it up to prevent her to prevent further data loss sorry i can't talk should have any other questions comments or concerns please don't hesitate to contact us again yo major w from the Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis customer support team, Applebot, they're honestly making this whole process. While it is a little uh, detailed, of course, uh, it's what's required. It's what's required because they, they need that information in order to accurately be able to help us because it is a lot of people being affected by this, unfortunately. I made the same mistake, too, with my first gotcha in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links back in like 2017. So there is that. So now here, I want to show you guys something real quick. As of right now, the servers are currently down for maintenance. They won't be back up until 6 p.m. Eastern time. What the hell am I going to do for the next four hours? I have no idea. But if you guys recall in my previous video for linking your account, I kind of there's a little bit of a miscommunication there on my end. My bad about that. The black main screen where it says Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and it's the press tap to enter the game menu. If you go to the top right and you link the data from there, that is actually where you go to link a new account data to your phone. What you actually need to do, if you guys are getting that error that says unable to access your account, if you keep getting that error code every time you try to link, what you actually need to do is, I'm actually showing this recording from stream last night. You go into the menu on the top right in the game. You got to go in the game. As you guys can see, I'm in the uh, games menu. And on the top right, there's a menu button. You click this right here. And if you scroll down, there's actually double mouse action is kind of confusing right here scroll down here there's link data you click this link data right here is where you will go to save your current progress to an account this is going to help out a lot of you guys because in the previous video i got a lot of people saying that there's an error i looked into that and i pinned the comment that explains this but i feel like a video update for this is needed for a lot of people but this is everything literally everything you need in order to completely Get your account restored, safely lock it in, and be good to go. Please, guys, if you're watching this, make sure you link your account data. Do that as soon as possible. Don't lose any of your stuff. I really do hope this video helps you guys out. And keep me updated in the comments below if you guys were able to get your account back, if they started the process, how long the process took. I really want to try to help all of you guys out as much as possible. And do me a favor, share this video around. This is very important. A lot of people are being unfortunately affected by this. If I go on their Twitter page, uh, there's a lot of people talking about how they lost their account. I know some people personally that also lost their account as well that didn't uninstall. The game just deleted their data unfortunately and they didn't link their accounts so if you have the player id you will be able to recover it and if you don't have the player id there's a bunch of other things you can do to help that out like if you bought the the battle pass if you bought anything from the game if you remember your in-game name custom made and the time of which you uh, would have played it all that stuff can be taken into consideration and i'm pretty sure they have other data they can probably access to do that fingers crossed it all works out for you guys because it seems to be working for some people be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more final fantasy videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching